So now I am in Baton Rouge, and you guys know I'm with a lovely couple, the only couple that I know of, that both of them listen to me, uh, which is highly unusual to me, and they're close to my age. As you know, they've been deeply entrenched in three major religions and have come awake. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is, number one, uh, the guy of this couple is... Uh, absolutely divine masculine. He wasn't always, but he is now. It doesn't matter what the past is. What I'm talking about is the timelines now. The aspect of him now is divine masculine. Now, for me, that is important because I haven't been able to find it, not a real clear, clean version vibrationally of it. So I found it. So I'll be able to, I was able to scan the planet. More of them than I thought, still not very many, but more than I had before. And more than I've had before, before, before. Which means my timelines are moving the way I want them to, which is important to me. Number two. For those of you who are so deeply entrenched in your own lives that you can't see the big picture, I want you to notice that these people were deeply entrenched in the... Uh, they were raised Baptist and Catholic. They were in the Mormon um, Mormon religion for 40 years, and these people awakened. Now, <clears throat> there are people all over the place contacting me that are awakening. Uh, I think Zen Mommy said that she's only been awakened for a year. This is happening all over the place, all around the world. So I don't care what the news is telling you. Uh, from my perspective, looking big picture in, I am moving timelines very rapidly, and things are changing very, very rapidly. Now, there's a lot that goes on that you guys don't see, and the news is sure not going to tell you. Who's going to tell you? <laughs> Regular news? Who's going to tell you? The governments? No, they're not going to tell you these things. They're going to keep you in fear. So it's your choice whether or not to feel your way to a better timeline or to stay in the lower timelines, listen to these other people, and stay in fear. It's your choice. As you know, I'm not going to judge. Either way is fine. You can stay in 4D, move to 5. I'm not going to tell you that, but those are going to 5. If you're listening to me, you're moving your timelines along, even if you cannot see them because you cannot see it yet. Okay? Eventually, you will remember at the pace and at the rate that is appropriate for you. Stop trying to become what you aren't and be at peace with where you are. You, your higher self, has designed all of this in a way that is unique to you and is perfect for you. There is no one to copy. There is no one to follow. You can get hints by what my, I've said in my videos, but ultimately your path is unique to you. The more you own that, follow it, be that, the better it will be for you, the easier it will be for you. The more you stay in the now and be happier and happier, looking at it moment by moment, the easier this will be. The more you look back in the past or worry about the future, the more difficult it will be. That is your ultimate goal. That is the big picture here. That's how all of us walk this walk. I've come at it from a different direction, but I've told you in my videos that what I have done has huge advantages. I mean, disadvantages. Yeah, it has advantages. I don't worry about death. I don't question where we come from. I know why this all happens. And yeah, that's a huge advantage. But the price I pay for that knowledge is intense. And it is intense to deal with moment to moment every day. So trust yourself, allow yourself to be able to do this at your own pace, at the pace that you're meant to do it. Trust that, love yourself. Don't forget to love your body consciousness through this process. Okay? All right then. That's it for this one. Huge hugs. Love you bunches. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.